On the Minnesota shoreline, certainly the most spectacular paddling is uh, in the Tetaguch area. You have Palisade Head to the southwest, Shovel Point to the northeast, and a water trail campsite right in the middle. So if you camp there, you have a short paddle in either direction to the spectacular two or three hundred foot high cliffs. Uh, if you get up early in the morning, you can have calm conditions, beautiful reflections. On the southwest end of Palisade Head, there are some sea caves that are rare on the Minnesota shoreline. Um, and looking up from down there, you don't see the road. You could be in the middle of a Canadian wilderness for all you know. Uh, very seldom see other paddlers, especially early in the day. And Shovel Point is just amazing. You're going underneath this fluted rock, looking up at the cliff, going out around the end. There's a lot of wildlife. And northeast of the point, there's a series of small indentations, small caves. Um, sea caves are something that attract a lot of paddlers. It's intriguing. They're beautiful. Um, instantly, when you see a cave, oh, I want to go inside of it. But it is something where you have to use a little bit of caution. Obviously, wave action can push you up against the ceiling of a cave. And it, even on a calm day, you have to be aware of if an oar boat went by, you can have a big swell coming in and pushing you up. Also, anytime you're in a cave area with cliffs, you can get reflection waves coming out again. So uh, if you're not an experienced paddler, it's a good idea to use a lot of caution, talk to people who know the area, um, and when in doubt, just stay a little bit off ashore.